Hi, I'm Tony. Welcome to Sports Bike Shop's video about the Krieger R16 backpack. Not everyone wants a huge rucksack so they can carry around loads and loads of stuff. One of my friends actually gave one away once because it was too big and she said that encouraged her to fill it with loads of stuff that she didn't need to have with her all the time. The bag she ended up with was something a little bit like this Krieger R16. It's one of the newer additions to the Krieger range and it's one of the smaller backpacks they make. It holds enough stuff for a day out or a commute to work as long as you don't want to lug loads and loads of kit with you. I found there was enough room for a pair of size 9 shoes, some jeans, a t-shirt, a food tub and my laptop. Much more than that and I'd say you'll really want a bigger bag than this. The number in the title of this bag tells you how much room there is inside. 16 litres to go with the R16 tag and it's all inside one compartment with this bag. It's Krieger's customary roll top closure. You roll the top portion over and then clip the two sides down and that makes the waterproof compartment sealed against rain coming in through the top. So everything inside is within a waterproof liner bag that's then attached to the outer of the bag by Velcro. The laptop I put in that waterproof compartment when I used this bag was a 13 incher, but Krieger say it'll take a 15 inch laptop and we found there was actually plenty of room to put a 15 inch Apple laptop in there, so we'd completely agree with them on that. There's a small pocket for bits and bobs that's attached to the liner in this bag, which isn't something I've seen on other Kruger bags like this. And there's also the option to have a water reservoir inside the R16. If you wanted one of those, you tuck it between the outer of the bag and the waterproof liner, and then the feed tube comes through with the shoulder strap so you can drink without taking your lid off. The harness that you use to attach this to yourself is the Quadlock Lite, and that's the same one that's used on the majority of Krieger's backpacks. It has two really roomy shoulder straps here that leave loads of space to get your arms through, and then it does up with this one click fastener across your sternum. So that braces the bag's weight across the front of your body, reducing strain on your shoulders and on your back. You can adjust the height of the bag to suit your size and the preference of where you want the weight to sit. Push the padded shoulder strap back into the bag a bit if you want the bag to sit higher on your back, or you can pull it out a little bit if you want the bag to sit lower. These straps over the top then adjust to suit the length. If you use these dots here, you can set the length where you want it. Have three dots showing through this plastic loop here if you want it to sit really low. And if you adjust it so this one dot here is sat within that eyelet, that means the bag sat at the highest point on your back that you can have it. So the Quadlock Light Harness has loops like this one here, which means you can attach a variety of different small add-on Krieger bags, which means you can keep little bits and bobs easy to reach. Something like that could be especially handy on this bag because there are no external pockets for storing those little things that you might want to get to in a hurry. As well as the chest harness, there's a waist belt that gives you a bit of extra support and that's removable. So if it gets in your way, you can really quickly take it off. Unless you've got the bag heavily loaded or you're particularly active on the bike, like you might be when you're riding off road, then I reckon you'll be okay without that waist belt. So I've reviewed most of the Krieger backpack range now and this is the most straightforward design of them all in my opinion. There's very little else to cover externally other than what I've already shown you. Once the roll top's fastened, there's this carry handle on top, which is pretty damn sturdy. And then there's a reinforced panel on the bottom to stop it wearing through prematurely. You also get these loops on the outside and they let you attach some extra Krieger dry bags to the bag here so that you get some extra storage if you need it. And that's about it. This is really a bag for people who want low key simplicity and a relatively small capacity. The construction is up to Krieger's usual standards and you still get the 10 year warranty just the same as you do with other Krieger bags. So the price of this R16 as we record this is £155 and I know there will be people who wince at that price and I understand that. But high quality bike rucksacks are getting more expensive in general and there are quite a few bags now where the price is nudging up towards 200 quid, or even going beyond that. If you're not someone who rides in all weathers, maybe it's worth looking at Krieger's R20 instead, as it's a bit cheaper than this bag. It's not waterproof, but that might be better suited to your needs. And the link to our video review of that bag should be popping up in the corner of your screen now. Something else I'd say, if you think you might want to carry a bit more clobber sometimes, even if it's only occasionally, it might be worth stretching a little bit further to get Krieger's R22. That bag's about 15 quid more than this one at the moment, and it has an extra six liters of space. There are also adjusters on the side of the bag, so you can compress it to a smaller size when you've not got it completely full. So that one might just be a little more versatile for not a lot of extra money. And again, we're putting up a link to our review of the R22 on the screen now. But there are some people who just know they don't want a big bag, and if that's you, then this could be exactly the right option for you. It's really simple, light, straightforward, 
and the waterproofing in my experience has always been brilliant with Krieger's roll top bags like this. I used this one for several commutes for days out on a Suzuki V-Strom 1050 and it kept everything dry and stable against my back. Most of the time I didn't even know it was there. I know this is the bag, my friend, that one who gave away her 30 something litre bag, she would choose this and I know she'd be really happy with it too. I hope that tells you everything you wanted to know about the Krieger R16 backpack, but if there is anything you'd like to ask or to add, then please pop a comment below. Thanks for watching.